Today you will learn how to create posts, repost, schedule posts, and schedule stories for Instagram using Planoly. Planoly is an awesome tool that can really help you save time and energy and just really help you create a great experience for your audience. Hey, I'm Leah Ray from ToddandLeahRay.com and today is a full yet concise Planoly tutorial, so stick around. Now in just a minute, I'm going to show you my screen and walk you through exactly how to use Planoly to create your posts, to reschedule posts, to schedule posts, to schedule stories. But real quick, if you are not yet subscribed to our channel, we are here to help you build your business online using the most effective marketing strategies to get leads, to grow your audience and your brand, to make sales. So make sure that you subscribe and click the bell button so you get notifications if you haven't done so yet. Now, Planoly is an amazing tool that is 100% Instagram. It's really useful and you are seriously going to love it. Now, if there are lots of tools out there to help you manage your Instagram accounts and, and to auto post on those accounts, but we recommend Planoly in particular if you are really focused on Instagram. Now, if Instagram is just something on the side that you're messing with, you've got multiple different social media accounts on different platforms, then actually Hootsuite would be our actual recommendation for you. And I'll make sure that our tutorial for Hootsuite, that video comes up in the box at the end of this video for you if you want to check that out as well. Now, while you have access to Planoly from your browser on your computer, it also is a mobile app that you can download onto your phone that you use Instagram on. Now, the features and the layout are very similar, so I'm just going to focus on the desktop version but it will all translate to the mobile app as well. Now let's dive in. Now Planoly is a web-based program, so you simply go to planoly.com, www.planoly.com. And the first time you go, you're going to definitely have to create your account, you're going to have to authenticate your Instagram account so everything can talk to each other. Once you do that, you're good to go, it's all set up and can talk. Now this is the home page or the dashboard that you typically will work from within Planoly. I'm going to give you a little tour here to show you what's going on. On the right here we have your calendar. So this shows you the month. What's really cool is it actually shows you the time of the posts on those different days that you have already made and the comments or the likes. So right now it's set to likes but I can hit this button up here and it switches it over to comments which is really neat. If you want to turn off that information, you can just click this little button and turn it on and off to toggle that. So pretty neat feature. Over on the left, this pane over here shows you all of your posts. So you'll see a U here if it's unscheduled and you can actually filter to just see unscheduled. You can see any scheduled posts. These have already been out. These are actually on our page and you can see all of them together here. Here you can view your stories with this button. So I actually have a story that I have scheduled for later today. To add a new story, you just hit that pink new story button and then you're gonna have to go find the file. So so now you'll see this has a U for unscheduled compared to the S where it was already scheduled. So I'm going to grab this and you actually just choose where you want it on the calendar. So I could set this for here. In this section you can put a little caption. This is when it's actually scheduled to go out so you could do this earlier or later. Make that in the morning and go ahead and save to schedule. So you'll see now they both have S's. Now it's important to note when you're scheduling stories within Planoly, it's not going to automatically post your stories for you. It just organizes them for you and allows you to open the Planoly app on your phone and quickly and easily post on that day. Grab whatever you've organized ahead of time and easily add that to your stories. So make sure to understand that it's not going to auto post your stories just as a tool for organizing them and helping you do them then yourself on your phone. To go back to the pane that we were on before, click this view grid and we are right here. Now to schedule a post. So if you have something that you've, that is unscheduled and you want to schedule it, you can simply click and drag and drop it on the calendar where you want it to go. It defaults in when you are on the free plan uh, to have this on it. You can delete it though and say something else. So you can put in your comments here and simply schedule it. You do have options for location and if you want to tag any users as well. 
your date and time you adjust here. You can also auto post based you can also auto post and let Planoly, based on your analytics of your account, decide when the best time to post is. Now to add new media, simply click on that button here. You got different options here. You can uh, get a shareable link off of Instagram. Most of the time I think you'll probably just grab it off your computer. Grab your picture that you want to use. We're going to go ahead and grab this throw it on our drag and drop onto the calendar date. We want this to go on. I'm going to delete the send to via Planoly. I'm going to put in our caption here. I'm actually going to set this to auto post when it wants to. Okay. I'm going to tag our location. Type that in, hit the search. There you go. And it is good to tag locations when you can because it'll give you another way for your, your pictures to be found on the Explore tab. Now another cool feature within Planoly is that they allow you to have groupings of hashtags that you can add to your posts. And I su highly suggest having many of these created if you're going to do it because if you have the same groupings over and over again, uh, Instagram isn't going to like that and they will do what they call shadow banning. So have a variety of these you can set up, but you simply click on the hashtag button. You could just here. And here you'll see what hashtag groupings you already have, but if you wanted to create a new one, you can right here. Go ahead and give it a name, and then you can enter your hashtags. So you can throw in your hashtags there, and you can see that it integrates with Instagram and it'll tell you how popular those hashtags are, which is pretty cool. Just save. And now I'm going to add our hashtags. And when I do that, it just plops it down at the very end of our post here. Hit save and it's off to auto post. You can also get to your hashtags here if you want to. It, you can go in here and just create your groupings and everything. Work on this when you're not actually creating a post. You can work on any drafts um, without having to schedule or anything here on the drafts tab. Functionality works basically the same as the plan tab. On the discover tab you're able to look at different hashtags. So you can search hashtags And you can see everything for that hashtag. And what's cool, guys, look at this little button here. Allows you to then repost that to your account and put it on your grid. You hit that button. And replanally, so you want to give credit to whoever actually initially posted this as being a good citizen of Instagram, if you will. This has their caption initially in it, but you can go ahead and change this and to whatever you want and you can schedule this to your account, which is really neat. You can look up specific users here, and again, you can share their post to your account. You can also go under free stock photos and see all kinds of cool stuff here. So you can just search. So if you want a beach picture, just search up here. It's gonna show you all these beach photos. And here you can, again, just click that button to schedule it to your account. You will have some great data under this Analyze tab. So as if you are on the free plan, as you can see here, it only is going to give you data for the last 30 days. So you will want to upgrade if you want data past 30 days. But you can see your followers, following, comments, likes, all this information. Right now, this pane on the right here is set to week. So our top five liked posts, our top five commented posts for the week. If we switch it to month, that'll change. Give us a top 10 liked post and the top 10 commented posts. And if you do have, if you do upgrade to the paid plan, then you can do a year or you can get more specific on the, the date range that you want to look at as well. In this comment tab, you will actually just 
work through the comments on your post. So this is really neat. So you can just stay in here and reply to people's comments and engage with your audience directly through Planoly, which is pretty sweet. Now, ShopLink is part of the paid plan, so I'm not going to go into that. StyleLink.it, this is really cool. I'm not going to go into it because it's really in, in, involved, but just to give you a heads up of what it is, it's basically an affiliate marketing program. You can apply to be an affiliate marketer for StyleLink.it, and you can use your Instagram account to promote products and then earn commissions off of it. So it's really neat that it integrates fully with Planoly and that they're work that they got this going on, but it is a whole kind of separate beast in and of itself beyond the the scope of what this tutorial is. Last little thing that I'm going to show you guys is under the menu here, you can refer a friend. This is sweet. So you can click on here and you can actually refer people to Planoly and you can earn $10 for any friend who signs up with a paid account. Now, as you can see, Planoly is an awesome tool that will really help you save time and energy posting and managing your Instagram account. Now, if you haven't played with it before and you want to check it out, I'll make sure that somewhere in our description we'll have our affiliate link for you. You can click on that and get access to Planoly. Now, for those of you who really want to learn how to market on Instagram, the full step-by-step -step process, you definitely want to attend our upcoming training that we're hosting. We're going to give you the A to Z on Instagram marketing, show you how to grow a targeted audience fast. Simply click the link at the top of the description to get registered. So question for you, what features did you like best in Planoly? Now, what did you think was the most helpful that you would use the most for your business? Comment to let us know. And if you found this helpful in any way, please make sure to like, share, and again, subscribe if you haven't. This is Leah Ray from ToddandLeahRay.com and I'll see you soon.